हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वो विल डिस्कस दी इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू यू अंडरस्टैंड टू सॉल्व दी न्यूमेरिकल्स सो फ्रेंड्स वेरी फर्स्ट वो विल स्टार्ट विद दी एक्सचेंज रेट मैकेनिज्म एक्सचेंज रेट मैकेनिज्म सी देर आर टू वेज इन विच दी एक्सचेंज रेट्स आर कोटेड इट मीन्स देर आर टू वेज इन द फॉर्म वी विल गेट दी कोटिकेशन राइट बेसिकली इन सिंपल वर्ड्स फर्स्ट इज कॉल्ड दी डायरेक्ट रेट and the second is the indirect rate okay so you might have uh, seen there is a 1 usd is equal to inr say 75 okay there is that you might have observed so what is the direct rate see friends direct name itself it is a self explanatory see suppose you want an apple you want an apple <coughs> there is a an, an uh, apple seller there is a apple fruit seller right and uh, you want to purchase the apple right if you go to him and uh, you have to purchase the apple how you can ask for you will ask how much should i pay for one apple okay how much i should pay for one apple right suppose suppose you want to buy the pen how you can ask what is the amount should i pay to you for one pen right suppose you have to purchase a mobile suppose you have to purchase a mobile you will go to the shopkeeper and ask him what amount should i pay for one mobile okay in the same way if you go to somebody and here if you have to purchase a foreign currency here you have to purchase the foreign currency then how can you say how much you uh, i should pay say foreign currency or dollar so how much should i pay to you to purchase a uh, 1 dollar are you getting or not if you want to buy something you directly go to store you will ask what is the price of one pen what is the price of one apple what is the price of one mobile in the same way you will ask for for purchasing a dollar you will ask what is the price of one dollar and the seller will say price of 1 dollar is say 74 rupees that means that means you will get 1 dollar for rupees 74 directly you are asking i want to buy say 1 dollar directly you can say 1 dollar is for 74 rupees that means it is a direct rate so friends remember how to remember in the easiest way if you buy something how can you ask to the seller I want to I want to buy a one pen. What is the price? How much should I pay for one pen? What is the price of one pen? I said it is a seventy four seventy four rupees for a one pen. Similarly, I have to buy a foreign exchange one dollar. I will say it is for the seventy four rupees. Directly, I am asking, right? I will I am directly asking that a one pen is for seventy four rupees, right? I repeat, direct trade is you are directly asking. Directly, you are asking. I want to buy one pen. Say uh, one pen. Similarly, here we are dealing with the foreign currency. So I will say I want to buy a one dollar. So how much should I pay to you? Okay. So this is the direct rate. Then what is indirect rate then? Indirect rate. Say uh, if you go to the seller, if you go to the seller, and you ask that uh, I am having uh, only one rupees. How much pen I get in that one rupees? Or you will say I am having a uh, hundred rupees. How much pain you can give me in that hundred rupees? You are you are again buying the pain, but you are you are directly purchasing one pain for how much rupees? And you are in you are indirectly you are asking you are saying that uh, uh, I have a hundred rupees. How much pain will uh, come in that hundred rupees? Remember, I repeat. See, the direct means you are directly saying you are directly saying. I want to buy one pen. What is the value of that one pen? Similarly, I want to buy a one dollar. What is the value of a dollar? But in indirect, in case of indirect, you reversely say, I am having a one rupees only. How much dollar you will give in that? I say, or I am having hundred rupees. How much dollar I can get in that? I repeat, direct and indirect is a very simple to understand. You must focus on the word direct. You are directly asking, I want to buy one dollar. How much rupees should I pay? Or in case of indirect, you are saying I am having a say one rupees or a hundred rupees. How many dollar should I get in that? 
okay this is the basic uh, direct and indirect so again come to the uh, direct rate direct rate here you are directly asking one us dollar is for uh, how many indian rupees i want to buy a dollar so one dollar is for say 74 rupees this is the direct quotation that means under a direct rate uh, one unit of a foreign currency is expressed in the in terms of the so many units of the foreign uh, home currency that means one unit of a uh, one unit of a foreign currency is express uh, is expressed in terms of the number of units of the home currency in other word local currency is variable local means indian for uh, india INR is a variable that means local currency is variable and uh, that foreign currency is fixed okay and uh, direct mechanism is followed in india so there is a uh, very easy you have to don't need to remember Ma maximum uh, problem you will get only in the uh, direct rate mechanism okay so in uh, india we are following the direct rate and uh, since around uh, 1996 we are fully following the direct rate mechanism only okay so here again the example one us dollar is equal to 73.5025 indian rupee that means one dollar is for 73.5025 rupees okay most of the currencies are expressed as a direct rate the foreign currency uh, invariably being the dollar okay so generally it is always expressed in terms of the dollar maximum times because dollar is the strongest currency so here i repeat what we have learned in the direct rate direct rate is the one us dollar is equal to how many indian rupees that means foreign currency is fixed and domestic or home currency is variable and you are directly purchasing dollar so therefore name and name given is the direct rate you are directly asking one dollar how many rupees should i pay okay so in this way you can remember now we will discuss the indirect rate as i have already told you in case of indirect uh, for a direct what we are uh, dealing i uh, i have to purchase one dollar how many rupees should i pay and you uh, the same thing you can say indirectly i am having only 100 rupees how many dollar will come in that i am having only one rupees how many dollar will come in that okay the same thing you are saying but indirectly you are saying right so that's why the rate is called as the indirect rate okay so see here uh, so how to uh, how to we can uh, describe that indirect rate how to quote see uh, one i n r is equal to u s dollar of a say 0 0.01 that means for one rupees how many usd i can get i will get 0 0.01 usd okay it is in point so i can say here uh, you can say 100 i n r is equal to 1.3 uh, usd okay so if you find such a quotation where where one unit of the home currency is expressed in terms of the number of a foreign currency unit okay the yeah, inr is home currency for india so home currency is expressed in a number of units of the foreign currency or we can say local currency is a constant and uh, the foreign currency or uh, the uh, uh, other countries currency is variable okay so i repeat in case of indirect the same thing you are saying but you are uh, here home currency you are expressing in terms of the foreign currency okay so what we can say sir the direct rate is inversely proportional with the indirect rate okay so also this is a one line of the mcq in true or false some people even uh, make a mistake in that right so don't make mistake here otherwise direct rate is inversely proportional with the indirect rate and vice versa also true okay so uh, i repeat what we have learned see if i say one dollar is equal to for rupees of 74 that is the direct quotation and what is indirect one rupees is i i am saving a dollar of how many dollar 0 0.01 dollar i am getting in one rupee so it is the indirect in case of direct you are directly asking for a, for one dollar how much unit i should i pay how much rupee should i pay and in, in case of indirect you are indirectly asking in one rupees how many dollar i will get okay in this way you can easily remember now we come to know what is the direct rate and what is the indirect rate right now we will discuss the uh, fixed and floating rate what is a fixed rate and what is what is a floating rate in the forex so friends see uh, fixed rate means what see if i say one dollar is equal to uh, say 0 
dirham okay dirham is currency of ua again i say 1 dollar is equal to 0.27 of dirham this is the rate on the first say first of the month and this is again the rate on 30th of the month that means there is no variation of the currency right in case of fixed exchange rate there are some country who still uses the fixed exchange ratio okay for example is the ua ua is using the fixed rate and in the ua 1 dollar is approximately 0.27 dirham they are generally their official uh, will declare the rate the ua will declare the rate and accordingly they will follow the, there is no fluctuation in the rate right there is the rate is fixed till the next order right so that is the fixed exchange ratio that is the fixed rate for the forex uh, you can change right now currently it is a 0.27 of dirham why the uh, government uh, why government uh, think that a fixed exchange ratio is useful because uh, there is no exchange risk if you stay constant if you say uh, 0.27 will be constant this rate will be the constant there will be no fluctuation for uh, till first till the next order that means there is no fluctuation that means there is no risk so people will attract more investment okay for that purpose the government may uh, have the fixed exchange ratio okay so uh, see the theory it is the official ratio set by the monetary authority for one or more currency okay for example i have stated 1 us dollar is equal to around 0.27 uh, dirham okay so this is the fixed this is this will not change after every 3 or 4 seconds okay so that's why it is a fixed rate so we can call it as a fixed rate it is set by the monetary authority this happen generally in the all uh, in the countries where there are restrictions in the foreign exchange transaction or the countries like uae okay this is uh, depends on but mostly in the uae uh, it is found that that it, uh, rate is fixed rate. and uh, why because to attract more investment the fixed rate there is not varying therefore no risk in that is uh, interest rate risk will not be there right fluctuation uh, risk will not be there so obviously it eliminates the risk and i uh, will attract the more investment that's why some country follow now uh, what is the floating uh, exchange rate simply fixed uh, against the fixed rate there is a floating rate okay floating exchange rate so what is a floating exchange rate so india say 1 dollar is equal to 74.2550 After four seconds, if you have checked, one dollar become seventy four point twenty five seventy five. Okay, so there is increase. Okay, there is increase after every three to uh, generally three seconds, almost every three seconds that rate changes. And uh, if we adopted that uh, mechanism in India, remember we are uh, following the floating rate mechanism. In India, we are following the floating rate mechanism. And how that value is being decided? The, under this the value of a currency is determined mainly by the supply and demand mainly by the supply and demand and exchange rate will be market determined we have discussed in detail supply and demand in the advanced bank management right so when uh, when uh, demand increases uh, rate also increases right and vice versa okay that we have discussed that's why Uh, that uh, uh, it uh, did uh, the rate is depend on the demand and supply and that is the floating exchange rate and uh, most of the free market economy have the floating rates okay and uh, see india have switched from partial floating rate that is a uh, range fixed based on the market currency to the fully floating in the 1993 that means which uh, we are using right now we are using the floating rate mechanism okay so this is the theory part now we have to switch to the most important part that is the transaction of settlement uh, different types of settlement we have to discuss okay so friends uh, before going to directly what is the trans uh, value date and what is the uh, transaction date what is the transaction date and what is the value date suppose a transaction is happened on first on first of the month and a value date is the date value date i re i repeat value date is the date of actual settlement where the actual uh, uh, transaction is settled means actual currencies are being uh, exchanged okay that is called as the value date i repeat what is the value date see here value date is the actual date of settlement and what is the date of a transaction transaction date is the date 
on which you are entering into the transaction you are entering into the contract that is the transaction date and the date on which the transaction is settled actually exchange of the currency is taken place that is the value date okay so remember the difference between transaction and the value date is very easy okay so here we will discuss what is a cash transaction what is a ready transaction so friends name itself it is a cash or ready okay here settlement of the fund on the same day that means uh, what do you mean by that same day that means you do the transaction you entered in the contract on a first and uh, on the same day you complete the transaction that means uh, the transaction date is equal to the value date that time you can say it is a cash or the settlement of the fund on the same day that is cash or it is also called as the ready so i repeat what is a cash or ready cash or ready it means today you have entered into the contract and today itself you finished with that uh, settlement you have completed the transaction that means date of a transaction and the value date and transaction date is same for the cash and ready okay now what is a tom see tom transaction means tom stands for tomorrow tom stands for tomorrow means simply settlement will take on the next working day tom stands for tomorrow means next working day it is also called as t plus 1 okay so that means on first you entered into the contract so there is that will be your transaction date and uh, uh, that uh, on next day so, so on a second that you have taken uh, that completed the transaction currency is being exchanged on second okay so settlement is on second day so we will call it as a tom we will call it as a tom okay now what is the spot settlement will be on second working day of the trade remember is a next working day if there is a holiday we have to take a next day okay so uh, cash means on the same day tom means the settlement will be on tomorrow that is next day and spot means again a day after tomorrow spot means a day after tomorrow that is a second working day of the trade for example on a first you have entered into the contract and the next is the second and uh, next second working day will be third on third you complete the transaction third is your value date so uh, that we will call it as a spot okay first is the cash first is the cash second is tom for tomorrow and third is the spot okay in this way you can remember uh, so we will again uh, discuss that through the table so and if any transaction which is settled beyond the spot beyond the spot means uh, t plus if it is more than t plus 2 then we will refer it as a forward transaction forward transaction see if the set here is the table through which you can easily understand okay see here uh, date of the contract suppose 24th of november is the date of contract on which you are entered into the contract okay what is cash if on the same day you have uh, done the settlement so day if the same day transaction is completed and settlement has been done so you will call it as the value date is equal to the date of a contract or a date of transaction that is same day of a contract that is called as the cash or ready now what is a tom see when on 24th you entered in the contract on next day you have done the settlement that is t plus 1 tomorrow tomorrow that is after 24 there will be 25 so tomorrow you have done the transaction that's why it's called as the uh, the value date will be next working day in what in both the country remember in both the country so on 24th you have entered into the contract next day is settlement is done that's why it is called as the tom rate okay and uh, remember uh, the working uh, that uh, if you done the contract in a 24 so next if it is settled on 25th provided uh, there should be next working day in both the country if any one country have a holiday then the settlement will not happen on the next day it will uh, again postpone to the next working day okay so again uh, spot very easy if you have entered into the contract on 24th and after two days that is a 26th you have done the date of settlement that is the date of a value date that is value date that is a second working day that is a second working day in the both the country then we will call it a spot and what is the forward any date beyond the spot any date beyond the spot that is beyond 26 11 you will be the uh, will call it as a forward if the settlement is done beyond 26 then we will call it as a forward okay so most important i repeat here is the spot 
because in 99 percent cases we have to discuss the spot rate okay so what is spot spot is the second working day remember spot is the second working day okay so again we will discuss this through the uh, through the arithmetic problem we are going to discuss in that also i will explaining okay so here is the theory part you should uh, know before going to the actual numerical that's why this is the conceptual video here now what is a bid rate sometime you will uh, uh, get their word bid rate and offer rate in the numerical so what is a bid rate what is offer rate simply friends bid b stands for bid bid and b stands for buy so i will directly say bid rate is nothing but your buying rate and what is offer you offer means you are offering something right this is what is called the selling rate so what is a bid rate it is the buying rate what is offer rate it is the selling rate okay nothing to explain that just remember b for bid b for buy o for offer and it is the selling rate we are offering that is selling okay in this way you can remember okay nothing to explain just remember bid and bid means buying offer means selling okay now see here suppose i say uh, uh, as the unit is quoted as the uh, 63.5 and 60 what do you mean by that means 1 us dollar is equal to either you can have a 63.50 or you can have 63.60 what inr first tell me whether it is indirect or direct rate it is the directly they are saying 1 dollar is for uh, that much of rupees that means it is a direct rate okay so when foreign currency one unit of foreign currency is expressed in terms of the number of unit of the home currency it is the direct rate so this is the direct rate okay uh, this is written like that that means we have to assume that there are two values in this way we have to assume okay now uh, what is the bid rate always remember first value in case of a direct will be bid rate bid value it is buying value and the second value will be the selling value because this is the direct rate always remember first will be the buying value and second will be the selling value okay so that will be useful for solving the numerical okay and i repeat this is the direct quotation first is called as the bid rate this is the bid rate and the second is the uh, offer that is the selling rate first is always buying and second is always selling so this is the direct quotation i have already stated and what is the principal in case of a direct i repeat principal in case of a direct is buy low sell high remember while solving the numerical you have to get a, you have to note that in case of a direct what is the principal buy low and sell high that means if the quotation is like this we have to buy the foreign currency at the at lowest value see this is the buying case so lowest value we have chosen as the buying and the highest value will be 63.60 that will be highest value so that will be sell high so buy low and a sell high i repeat see here uh, 1 dollar is equal to they have given 63.50 slash 60 this will be the buying first will be buying in case of a direct and second will be the selling and a principal in case of a direct this is direct quotation and a principal in case of a direct is buy low and sell high okay in case of direct and if in vice versa in a vice versa in case of a, uh, in case of a indirect in case of a indirect quotation principal is uh, uh, is a buy high and a sell low okay so remember in case of a direct what is the maximum or a principal buy low sell high in case of a indirect principal is buy high sell low this just reverse it okay this is the important in a numerical we have to uh, use that okay now what is a cross rate what is a cross rate mechanism so friends see uh, in some cases we have to use the cross rate or a chain rule okay so see suppose the currency is given like a usd to say uh, say uh, you can take a, take a, uh, the a pound usd to pound and another currency is given pound to uh, rupees okay so the, suppose this is the currency given first rate they have given 1 usd to how much pound and second they have given 1 pound to how much rupee and they are asking 1 dollar is for how much rupee so how can you calculate you can just multiply that two rates suppose this is the 1 by 2 and this is a 2 uh, by 3 so you will get 1 by 3 okay so in this way just for a, for a just overview i am telling you uh, in case of a cross rate see when the rate of a particular currency appear is not available 
टू अराइव इट बाई मीन्स ऑफ इंटरवेंशन इंटरवेनिंग इंटरवेनिंग दी थर्ड करेंसी सो वी हैव टू अप्लाई दी चेंज रूल सिंपली इफ द रेट यू एस डी एंड पाउंड इज गिवन एंड सेकेंड रेट पाउंड टू डॉलर रुपीज इज गिवन एंड दे आर सेंग फर्स्ट इक्वेशन सेकेंड इक्वेशन दे आर सेंग फाइंड दी यू एस डी टू रुपीज रेट सो हाउ कैन यू फाइंड जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई बोथ द इक्वेशन सो पाउंड पाउंड विल गेट कैंसल यू विल गेट यू एस डी टू रुपीज रेट ओके इन दिस वे वी हैव टू डील एंड ऑब्वियसली वी विल डिस्कस दैट दैट इज नो थियरी इज हियर ओके हियर वी हैव टू डिस्कस दी क्रॉस रेट और द चेन रूल इन दी प्रॉब्लम ओनली ओके नाउ वट इज दी फॉरवर्ड रेट्स एनी ट्रांजेक्शन विच हैज अ वैल्यू डेट बियॉन्ड दिस स्पॉट इट इज दी फॉरवर्ड दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस वट इज अ फॉरवर्ड फॉरवर्ड इज दी ट्रांजेक्शन बियॉन्ड स्पॉट राइट वट वी हैव डिस्कस कैश कैश मीन्स टूडे ट्रांजेक्शन एंड वैल्यू डेट इज सेम then we have discussed tom tom means settlement is tomorrow t plus 1 then we have discussed spot spot means day after tomorrow there is second working day and after spot there is a forward there is a forward that we have discussed right now what is a premium or a discount it is also again uh, useful for solving the numerical see friend what is a premium or a discount simply say if a currency is costlier in a future with respect to another currency then it is a premium okay and if a currency is cheaper in a future with respect to another currency then it is a, at a discount means see i repeat see here for a through example you can easily understand see 1 pound uh, for a uh, pound against usd that means 1 uh, pound will be available for a 1.48 of a dollar right see here the pound against usd they have given 1.48 but after one month rate will be 1.4850 That means the pound will be costlier, fifty paise after one month. So we can say it is at the premium. It it will be at a premium. Okay, and vice versa. See if the rate uh, USD to dollar is sixty four point one zero, and after six month rate will become sixty four point seventy nine. That means it is increased by sixty nine paise after six month. That means is it is increasing. That's why it is at the premium. And if it is decreasing, if today. Say USD to INR value they have given seventy four point fifty, and after three months USD to dollar value they have given seventy four point zero. That means value is decreasing, so it is called as the discount. If value is decreasing, it is at a discount. If value is increasing, it is at the premium. Okay. While solving the numerical, that is just uh, over you for that purpose I am telling you. While solving the numerical, you will get idea. Okay. So here. the next important thing which you have to note that forward rate what is i repeat what we have discussed we have discussed the cash rate then tom then spot and then forward okay cash means on same day there is t plus 0 tom means tomorrow so to t plus 1 spot means next working next second working day so t plus 2 right and uh, forward means beyond spot forward means beyond spot that is t plus 2 plus something okay that is beyond spot so what is a forward rate how to calculate forward rate forward rate can be calculated from the spot rate how see if you have spot rate and if currency at a premium you will add the premium you will get a forward rate because forward rate is is nothing but the spot plus something you will get it is beyond the spot that's why spot plus premium you will get forward rate if currency at a discount obviously uh, spot rate minus a discount you will get forward so what you have to learn premium is always added and uh, the, and if it is discount it is always subtracted okay so that also we are going to discuss in the in the what in uh, the, the numerical section that is arithmetic section okay so we have discussed here the, the theory uh, the important concept which are needed to solve the numerical now here uh, the small concept arbitrage what is arbitrage it is a process of a simultaneous purchase of a, and a sale of a currency at a two different market to make a profit what do you mean by that see arbitrage is a process in which so for example say there are different country different market say one market in mumbai and second market in hong kong right and in, in mumbai market you purchase a dollar at a say 74.50 this is the purchasing price but in case of hong kong the price of a dollar is 74. 80 so what you will do you will your smart investor you will purchase at a mumbai and and again immediately you will sell at a hong kong and and in single dollar you will earn around 0.30 paise is your uh, in is net profit right that means simultaneously you are purchasing and uh, selling the currency 
okay that is the just uh, concept of arbitrage okay so what is arbitrage that we have to discuss long in detail again in the next uh, chapters so here the concept of what is the arbitrage okay uh, not necessary that you are purchasing the only one currency you can purchase multiple currency okay for the sake of understanding i am taking the same, same currency okay that is the concept of arbitrage to make the profit you are purchasing and selling the currency now the theory part that uh, we will discuss again in the next lecture this lecture was dedicated to the important concept in the uh, for um, arithmetic now do one thing you have to subscribe our youtube channel banker zone also join the telegram group which is available on the telegram you can uh, for that you can search at the rate c a b b z right and uh, for you can download the application from play store bankers zone c a i i b so friends don't forget to share we will continue our discussion in the next video